Okay, so in the previous parts we have seen our classic auto photo generation based on the DTM and the DSM. And now we take a look at the DSM HQ mosaic uh, solution in TBC. And the difference is that this is completely solely based on the point cloud. So not as, as the classic autophoto to the autophoto or autophotos and then from the autophotos then the mosaic. But the point cloud itself is refined. There are some filters going on it. We clean up edges of buildings, remove through uh, filters points along the facades to straighten up our point cloud so that we really get um, as a perfect as possible point cloud for the true auto rectification so that for example a building like here is completely true auto rectified the main goal and therefore from the aerial images directly to the true auto mosaic the project that we used before is not so well suited for this it's a road construction there, is, there are not many buildings uh, so therefore i chose here uh, a different data set and which is now here including buildings a nice strong overlap so when we take a look here at the uh, flight block we can see here that we have enough overlap here between these images and uh, let's take now here a look into um, yeah, nice message. So let's take now a nice look into the data. Special surface model, highest quality high. Then I output the point cloud. Again, I don't need to output it. It will still be calculated, but not written. But in my case, I write the point cloud and I write my true auto mosaic, which is using here a ground sample distance of two centimeter. And that means the point cloud is now our main ingredient and therefore we want to take now of course a closer look to these important parts and these are buildings for example so let's here take a look in the 3d view um, i have here already my focus on a uh, building and we will take this here in a closer look so we look here into the 3d view and we can see how the point cloud is cleaned up especially at the edges then you see here how this point cloud is really cut off almost like here or not almost there is here the, um, a mesh and also a dsm calculation that allows here to emphasize edges and therefore this point cloud here is really um, cut off like edges on the building roofs and also what you don't see is points along the facade so the facade points here are completely removed so that we really can emphasize a straight facade, which will then also cause no wobbling effects. Uh, when you look straight down here on top of it, then you don't have any points uh, wobbling on the, on the surface, on the, on the facade in this case. And this is exactly what we want. We want to eliminate these points, having sharp edges at the roof edges because this is important for our final product of our autophoto from DSM HQ. And this is now really a real true autophoto. I mean, the DSM approach is already, I call it always a quasi uh, true autophoto or almost true autophoto, but this here now really emphasizes its whole work process for true autophoto rectification. And the benefit is we can now, of course, here digitize in TBC or any CAD system using this as a background and we can really digitize up to the last pixel of our building. I can digitize these stairs. I can digitize here this small portion of vegetation. I can digitize the stairs. I have here accurate point clouds representing every small feature because no surprise, let's switch on the point again here. The points are here really perfectly pitched on the right X, Y, Z position. Z position for us. Yeah, so we can see here the stairs here are nicely. We could also digitize, of course, in the point cloud itself. So really 
no problems. There's a lot of effort for every single point going into this matching algorithm. There's multi-matching in this case here. I will not, in this video here, go in depth into this part, but um, uh, if you are more interested, I will probably add to this uh, whole full course some advanced videos at the end, and then you could take a look how the algorithm is trying here really to get the best result. And of course, everything that is man-made built. So typically, we tend, we uh, human beings tend to build constructed in lines or line areas. That means, for example, here, uh, when you take uh, this small wall here, having now a point cloud that really is uh, able to extract these points here with the correct height and not dropping off. Yeah? So really, the point cloud here is uh, taking care of, about this, um, then we can extract here the correct positions from the true auto photo. That means this wall here is correctly uh, positioned, georeferenced. So really, um, for um, purposes of cadastral work, the true auto photo is amazing. Also, for analysis, if you go into Ecognition, Image Analysis, let's take a look at the output. Also, in this case, I did not define a separate output folder, but I outputted my data directly into the project folder. You can see here where I defined it directly in the project. And this data here is smaller than my previous one, uh, lesser images, and still the point cloud is superior, mainly because we really match every single pixel. So this creates, of course, a very large point cloud. The autophoto is not so big because this test project here is not so big as the other one, but um, it also has a two centimeter resolution that we use to process here. The output is exactly the same as, exactly like DTM or DSM processing. So when we take a look at the properties, uh, GeoTIFF that is written, and in this case here with our two centimeter, you can see it here in the settings. So no, nothing different than in the DTM or DSM approach, you get the auto photo, or let's call it here, this true auto photo, and the point cloud as a last file. Okay, so this sums up the auto photo generation uh, chapter here. Again, this is of course a big benefit if you have uh, city areas and you want to have a true auto photo which helps you to uh, collect data afterwards. Uh, also, the point cloud is sharp um, in a great way. Perhaps here just to take a look here. I just was running um, automatic filtering, which is part also of uh, the, um, the TBC APM module. So you can extract the ground. And then when you do this, let me here show here. I have here my scan colors, not scan colors, my region colors. And also I did run on the point clouds here, this region. Um, this create region filter, full automatic, and you see really the point cloud is so nicely uh, separated from ground and off ground with these filterings already in before that you can easily extract just pure ground on it with a very, very high reliability. So if I switch off the, from the point clouds, the buildings, the high vegetation, the never classified, then we have here already a almost pitch perfect ground model. Nothing done, no manual work, no editing, just based on this point cloud, giving you a very easy way just to generate the ground. And with the ground points, you can easily generate a surface. From the surface, you can easily generate your contour lines that are perfectly representing your real ground. What else can we do with the classified points? 
And still, um, you can also use the points from the buildings if you are interested into putting this, for example, in image recognition stuff, then you can just extract the outer bounds of the buildings from it. So many, many ways to continue your work. But again, main goal for me was today is the true autophoto in this chapter here. Mainly we get a great true autophoto because there's a lot of effort going into this point cloud extraction. Therefore, in photogrammetry, when you select the DSM HQ processing, this will then allow us this product. But mentioned also in the point cloud video, much more time consuming. Yeah? So again, a factor of five to 10 to the DSM approach. So if my project just contains open terrain, then of course I just run it with a DTM processing then I could run it with DTM or DSM. But if I'm interested into areas like this, where I have buildings, uh, also buildings, very, well, let's take a look here because this is really um, a great, great solution here when you have complex structures. And in these complex structures where I have my building leaning into vegetation itself, and um, therefore it's really difficult here with uh, the other approaches to get a good um, autophoto, or I think also I have here a complex roof structure. Yeah, here is here a complex roof structure. And therefore not easy to extract, um, or even this building here where the vegetation tree is leaning into the building, um, no problem. Because the dense point cloud and every single point is matched very accurate this does not cause misplacing of the autophoto. This is really nicely true auto rectified in this part and also the other one where my tree was leaning in here. No problems here. Nicely extracted, nice sharp edges and also this building. This is here where this um, strange roof shaping was. No problem. I can digitize everything around this building here and extract data from it. Okay, I hope this uh, gives you an idea about the different autophoto products that you can generate in TBC. And therefore, have fun, enjoy it, and have a nice day. Goodbye.